Hello everyone, welcome back to Cluster B Milkshake. I am your host, along with support puppet, mm, Mr. Chicken. Foot five, if I can get him untangled. Um, today I want to read you something out of the book called The Shame Factor. It's backwards. Um, by Stephen B. Poulter. P-O-U-L-T-E-R. Sounds like poultry, huh? All right. Heal your deepest fears and set yourself free. So I started reading this book and I wanted to read you the part, a small section called Family Shame Defined. Parents project their own sense of inadequacy and emotional insecurity onto their developing child who then eternalizes these feelings as her own around age of five. Yes, um, as you will notice, a lot of us um, who have gone through our own childhood trauma, becoming um, somebody with a personality disorder or not, and you just having um, CPTSD, this shit is gonna resonate with you, this. The feelings of inadequacy dramatically impair the child from developing her own sense of self-esteem. The child's natural cravings for love, acceptance, and understanding aren't understood by the parents. The family relationship operate with each person avoiding their own unmet emotional, psychological, and relationship needs. Family shame is the foundation for all forms of individual shame that emerge when someone is a child, teenager, or adult. The painful, unmet emotional needs gradually begin to form an internal picture within the young child, convincing him that he must somehow be defective. There is a concept in child psychology that every adult carries around a picture in his metaphorical wallet of his scared five-year-old self. It's a picture that shame learns to cover up. This is what a narcissist covers up and creates the false self. Okay? So... <clears throat> there are, um, it goes into more about the family shame. And then um, here are three examples. Okay. Um, eradicating emotional defenses. The child develops various cover ups for feeling inadequate. These behaviors range from self loathing to fear of failure. This is why you will also see um, a narcissist having to be perfect all the fucking time, okay? This is also when you see a narcissist don't like criticism, right? All right, number two, resignation and acceptance. The child internalizes the idea that he is flawed and inadequate and avoids any task or experience that might reveal his lack of ability. This could be like why um, uh, I give up on shit and don't continue, you know, it's like it's easier just to fucking um, just dismiss it and go on in relationships too. It's like, okay, well, this isn't working. So um, if I am failing at this, which I'm going to project and say, you're fucking it up and then I can fucking just take off and not have to work on shit, right? Right. Number three, withdrawal and development of false self. The child retreats into a fantasy world that blocks out the chronic rejections he had experienced. Yes, so um, this book is bomb and 
I suggest y'all get it so we can all fix um, our, you know, shame that was planted in us as children. The child's internal voice, I am bad. No one loves me. I am a failure. There you go. The shame factor. Get it. It's time we book club. All right? All right. Have a great day. Namaste.